Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your frontal, plucking it and tinting it without using bleach at all. So as you can see, this frontal here is from Long QI Beauty. This is a Brazilian straight frontal. It is pre-plucked a little bit, but you can see a line of where it's thin and then it gets thick so i do want to customize it a little bit more as you can see this frontal is put together really really nice it is constructed perfectly but i do want to go ahead and plug it some more and tint this lace so it will match perfectly against my skin like I Okay, so now it is time to start plucking. Now, what I'm going to use is my tweezers, and I'm just showing you right now, as you can see, it is thin in the front, which is cool, but there's like a super strong line and demarcation of the thickness right after that, and I just want to even that all out. So I'm literally going to take my tweezers, and you have to make sure you be careful with this because it definitely takes patience and it takes practice because I've put in ho I've put holes in frontals before um, from grabbing the actual lace. So definitely make sure you're grabbing the hair. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and literally pull out the hair. There's really no special technique to this. You're just going to pull out the hair until you get it how you want it. So I'm literally just going to keep going through and thinning out the front. And as you can see, it'll become a lot, a lot of hair. I probably sat and I did this for a half an hour. It does take time and it does take patience, but I promise at the end it's all worth it. It makes it look so much more natural. And luckily, this frontal already came pre-plucked. Super thick line anymore, which is great. And it's just um, pretty much perfect now. But basically, you just go through and do that until... You're satisfied. Now what I'm going to do is tint the lace. Now there's a couple of techniques you can use to tint the lace. I'm going to use concealer and foundation. Um, eventually I will change to just using concealer because my foundation was running out. So I did start off with concealer and foundation and my sponge. And you're literally just going to saturate your whole frontal with the concealer and foundation now this also helps with tinting the lace and it helps with making the knots appear bleached bleaching the knots is bleaching the knots is cool but it does cause a lot of shedding it causes the hair to break off from the lace a lot easier so i really prefer not to bleach the knots this works with matching it to your skin it also works with making the knots appear bleached so as you can see once I got done doing that it matches perfectly with my skin and you can't see the knots anymore the next thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of my got to be glued spray and I'm going to spray it just to make the makeup attached to the lace more so it doesn't come off because it will just rub off and then I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it now when you do this you must know this is not going to stay forever. If your lace frontal starts to lift and you need to keep reapplying it, it's going to start to get nasty, sticky, tacky, cakey, and built up. So you're going to have to clean off your frontal um, maybe after touching it up a couple times or it's going to look really disgusting. You have to clean your frontals. Frontals are a lot of maintenance and this is definitely going to cause it to be more maintenance but it's also going to help with keeping your knots attached to the lace. So as you can see I did blow dry it for about 10 minutes and this is basically the final result. It looks like I bleached the knots. And I'm going to show you now that it matches perfectly with my skin. And I am really, really satisfied with this frontal. This is a long QI beauty hair. Stay tuned for my uh, official review on this hair. That will be the next video. But overall, so far, I give this.